Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for week five of your 2021 NFL primetime game. I like commentary. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Come get some. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Jonathan Taylor Swift, 76 yards into the end zone. The Colts on top. That was easy. Open in possession for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Kermit to Frog Mahomes rolling towards his right. He's going to pick up the first down and carry it inside Buffalo territory. Third down for Baltimore. Lamar Jackson looking towards his left. He's got Mark Andrews to move the chains for a Baltimore. Can just so. Mark Andrews had help from the floor. It'd be ruled an incomplete pass following a Colts challenge. Third and seven for Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes looking towards his left. Got a man. The pass sailed incomplete, but there's laundry on the field. Hold in on the defense. Automatic first down for say. I guess not. Stupid bitch. Talk to Jonathan Taylor and he started talking. He said he was excited about Monday Night Football. He said he couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to hear his name announced and his college announced when he was introduced as part of the starting lineups. And none of us uh, had the heart to tell him, hey, that's, that's Sunday night football. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Mans really thought he was about to have his name announced on prime time. Nevertheless, the cheetah would carry it for a first down. Body made of paper mache. Carson Wentz takes the snap. Looking left. Got his man. Indianapolis is back in Baltimore territory. The Chiefs would call on the kicking powers of Harrison Butker. He'd kick it through the uprights from 38 yards out. Chiefs on the board. Wait a minute, you could have saw this video early and ad free. All you gotta do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chiseledadonis and become a level three, four, five, or six member. And you won't have to worry about ads and you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? Deion Dawkins, you already know university. Ensuing drive, Josh Allen's gonna dial up voicemail, call his own number, carry it himself inside Chiefs territory. Bill's moving the football down the field with ease. Josh Allen looking over the right hash marks, got Dawson knocks inside the 25. At hot, you think he's gonna run? The lie detective determined you're telling the truth. And he'd pick up yet another first down for the Bills. Following a series of penalties, the Colts would move back and forth down the field and they're now at the 15. Buffalo Wild Wings in the period colored zone. Josh Allen once again calls his own number, runs into the end zone. Buffalo is in the lead. And you see that man's skin color? He's showing the world that. That's how white man runs a football. Are oh, you bitch? Thus far in the rematch of last year's AFC Championship, we've already got fireworks. Ensuing kickoff, here comes Pringles, unfortunately for Buffalo. They like butter fingers. Fumble on the play, it's recovered by the Bills. See, this is exactly why ain't nobody got commercials for Pringles on the television. They're not reliable at all. Come here. Ah, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ah! Hey, it's on the ball. My, 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 the Ravens take the football back. Third and 11 looks like Josh Allen's controller is jammed. Why does he keep running backwards? Throw the football away. But it's far too late. There's laundry on the field, but he's going to be called for intentional grounding. The Bills are going to have to punt. Mans was out here thinking he was the dude on the other sideline. You ain't Patrick Mahomes. You're a phony. Following the turnover, Baltimore trying to build momentum. Mark Andrews would carry it to the 38-yard line. Following drive for Kansas City. Play action fade. Patrick Kermit to Frog Mahomes looking towards his right. He's got Kelsey. Get your bitch ass off me, pussy. Oh, I forgot. Did you really think Baltimore was putting together a drive? Access denied. Get your ass off the field. Second and 14, handoff for Kansas City. They're now at midfield. Carson Wentz got one of the longest releases in the NFL. My God, he throw with his entire body. Flash Gordon approaching. What do you mean, Flash Gordon approaching? Josh Gordon had his first catch in years. Carson Wentz got sacked and they out of field goal range. The Kansas City Bloods in the Sioux zone. Play action fake. Patrick Kermit to Frog Mahomes rolling towards his right. Looking into the end zone. Got his man. That's Byron Pringle in the end zone. Touchdown Kansas City. They take the lead. And it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes because it's free real. 
real estate. And now a word from our sponsors. Stop what you're doing. Haven't you heard the news? Raycon just released their brand new everyday earbud. The new everyday earbuds offer an improved rubber oil look and feel and optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. Just touching the side of the earbud is oh so soothing. Therapeutic, if you will. Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. That's a day and a quarter. Do you know how many things you can listen to for a day and a quarter? Everything. There's also a built-in mic and you can take calls at the press of a button. It's so much more improved than their older model. Raycon start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good, if not better. And they come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. So if in the event that you don't like them, which I would highly doubt because who doesn't like their Raycons? I use my Raycons no matter where I'm going, whether I'm sitting in the house listening to a podcast, I'm taking a phone call, I'm going on a run, a bike ride, I'm headed to the gym, doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm making sure I got Raycons in my ears at all times. And you should too. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description. Go to buyraycon.com slash chiseled and get 15% off your very next Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com slash chiseled and get 15% off your very next Raycon purchase. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Ensuing drive, Buffalo trailing once again. Allen over the middle. He's got Stephon Diggs. Lower the shoulder on Dirty Daniel Sawson. Baltimore struggling to move the football, but not anymore. Lamar Jackson's got his man at the 39. And can somebody explain to me how Kansas City's offense difficulty is Hall of Fame, but their defense remains on rookie? Buffalo's in their territory again. And then on the very next play, Josh Allen would let it fly. He's headed to KFC. He's got Emmanuel Colonel Sanders. Touchdown, Buffalo. Buffalo, they regain the lead within seconds. Where you going, Lamar? Watch out for the banana. <laughs> Lamar's offense would be forced to punt. Now Patrick's offense forced to punt because both of them participating in the Frank Costanza challenge. Mm, After that first drive, the Colts offense got some bad B.O. because they didn't put deodorant under their Michael Arm Pittman. Get off the field. Mm, I stopped short. Ensuing drive for the Bills, third and eight, under five minutes left to play in the first half. Josh Allen's going to let it fly, and Queen Elizabeth would get her period at 95 years old before the Chiefs secondary makes a stop. That's how terrible they are. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, play action fake. Lamar's going to let it fly. Over the middle, he's got Sammy Watkins. He carried all the way to the 44. Buffalo would settle for a 30-yard field goal. They've got a touchdown lead. Now in Colts territory, Lamar looking over the middle. He's got Sammy Watkins. You want another one? No, God, please, no. Man's got bounced back like he was doing doggy style with Meg Thee Stallion. This is hilarious. Every single quarterback on prime time ran for a first down except Carson Wentz. Mahomes takes it inside Bill's territory. Then again, that brother ankles the size of former governor Chris Christie. Fat! All those years of calling Lamar Jackson a running back, he's letting it fly today. Got Mark Andrews inside the 15, out of bounds at the 10. Two-minute warning for Kansas City, and somebody must have used the invincibility cheat because Patrick Mahomes got all kinds of time. Brother held on to the football for eight seconds just to throw an incompletion. Get your dumb ass off the field, Kermit. <laughs> The most accurate kicker of all time, Justin Tucker, would kick it through the uprights. Baltimore's finally on the board. Following drive for Buffalo, Josh Allen rolling towards his right, looking deep down the field. Got Dawson Knox wide open, goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. They lead by two scores. Kansas City's defense is absolutely trash. Daniel Sawson can't cover a twin-size mattress with a king-size bed sheet. He ain't shit. There are three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and Daniel Sorsen getting beat deep on Sunday night football. Week two, it was against Hollywood Brown. Where the hell was Daniel Sorsen? Tyron Matthews losing his mind, having to have this man as his teammate. Instead of Dirty Dan, they should call him Battered Vagina, because all he does is get beat deep. How many times can somebody keep blowing coverage? The Sprint Network got better coverage than that. What the fuck? Two-minute offense for Indianapolis, looking to put points on just before halftime. And despite the fact they drive down the field with ease, they haven't been able to get any points since that opening drive. Hopefully, they can change it here. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they're going to need to unlock that offense if they want any chance of coming back with that trash-ass defense. 
under a minute left in the half. Patrick Kermit for Mahomes looking towards his right. He's got McCall Hardman inside Buffalo territory. And that set up Harrison Butker from a 54-yard field goal. He'd kick it through the uprights, and it's good. Cut that deficit down to 11. The Colts would look to do the same as they send out Rodrigo. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That, that's Sanchez. He's a punter. What happened to Blankenship? Why is Sanchez out here? Marlon Humphrey went off sides. The referees didn't call it. The kick sailing wide to the left. It's no game, they did call it. Obviously, they called it. Look how far off sides this man went. There's Rodrigo Blankenship. Where the fuck was he? 37-yard field goal. Kicks it through the uprights. It's good touchdown lead for Indianapolis. Seriously, where was this man? I don't know. And for some apparent reason, just before halftime, they decide to try to kick an onside kick. What was the point? You only got two seconds. Are you guys stupid? Of course you're not going to get the football with enough time remaining. You fucking income fucking poop. Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that'll take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already followed me for the 10K follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be entered. I don't care about burner accounts i don't care how many other accounts you happen to make all you've got to do is download the hot mic app use the invite code adonis follow me on the app and you will be entered may the odds ever be in your favor all right we're going to send it back to the studio mike Tarico. i want to know what the proper ratio is on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich back to you well i have a nut allergy so i'm the one here who's not the expert i'll turn to you guys proper well balance there guys to me the real question is is it grape jelly or strawberry jelly does that matter yeah and then how are we cutting it are we cutting it you know square or re rectangular and white bread or whole or wheat. triangle yes. right exactly what the fuck number one in miami was the ratio of peanut butter to jelly better as for the peanut butter sandwiches yeah. i've heard everything from you know well we didn't have almond butter this time so mm. you know it wasn't nearly as healthy but uh, they did say the oranges in the locker room were and i'm quoting fire so that means good al they liked the oranges in the locker room mm -hmm. thank you queen of the peloton appreciate that <laughs> Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm this sorry, man. Really no, I know there was a weather delay out in Kansas City, but my God, these motherfuckers spent the entire halftime talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We came here to watch football. Let me compose myself. Nevertheless, play action fake. Very next play. Carson Wentz going deep. He's got Michael Pittman whispering in the Ravens' secondary ears. Hold my nuggets. Suck my dick! Get mossed, pussy! Get mossed! Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Blankenship would come out for the extra point and the kick is sailing wide to the left. Why are these kickers missing so many kicks? We had more missed kicks this weekend than we have hours in a day. Can somebody hit all field goal kickers with a dildo, please? You brought shame upon yourself and your family. But hey, Rodrigo, no way you're gonna miss another one, right? Here come the Bills, opening drive of the second half. I it. Second and 15 for Lamar Jackson looking over the middle. I was, I was Third and four for Kansas City. Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes takes the snap, rolling towards his left. Following the three and out, here comes Buffalo still leading by double digits. Josh Allen looking to add to that total. All kinds of time. Let's it fly. Dawson Knox inside Chiefs territory. Their secondary ain't shit. Lamar Jackson looks to do the exact same on third and three. The Colts can't seem to catch him. I haven't seen a black man escape this many people dressed in white since the 1920s. Lamar got him out there looking like fools. Picks up a first down and keeps his drive alive. Couple plays later inside Indianapolis territory. Lamar looking over the middle. He's got Mark Andrews at the 35-yard line, but there's laundry on the field. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense. Somebody tell me, what's wrong with Darius Leonard? Why would you leap into this man's head? You big dummy. For whatever reason, Josh Allen decided to throw the football to Buffalo Super Bowl championships, but absolutely nothing was there. Ensuing drive, time to make them pay. Mahomes over the middle. <laughs> Pass intercepted by Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde, Hyde Jekyll goes into the end zone and McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Chiefs getting murdered in this bitch. 
what happened to his hands? First and goal for Baltimore, but Lamar's got butter fingers. Fumble on the play. It's scooped up by Darius Leonard. Running at the 24. Tosses it over to his man. Isaiah Rogers has it at the 40. To the 50. And the Baltimore Ravens ain't gonna catch him. He goes all the way into the end zone for an Indianapolis. <laughs> First and foremost, Lamar Jackson should have been ruled down by contact. He still had possession of the ball. He was simply transferring hands. It wasn't until the knee touched down that he actually lost possession. But that's not what actually got this called back. It was the fact that this was actually considered a forward lateral. I cannot believe it. Neither can I, Lamar. Well, I mean, we upset about different reasons. This would be considered a forward lateral because despite the fact that Leonard got rid of the football while Rodgers was behind him, Rodgers didn't maintain possession until after he passed Leonard. So on a play where this should have been a defensive touchdown, it's going to be Colts football, but at the 20-something. Nevertheless, they'd waste little time moving the football because Wentz looking towards his left, he's got Michael Arm Pittman there at the 40-yard line. And then on the very next play, handoff to Jonathan Taylor Swift and he'd carry it inside Baltimore territory. Fourth and three for Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes takes the snap looking over the middles. Got Hardman, but he I dropped it. got hands that are just for decoration. Turnover on downs. What happened to his Ganjetsa? Roughing the passer on the Bills. You big dummies. New set of downs for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes rolling towards his right. And he's got Travis Kelsey inside Buffalo territory. They're now inside the 45. Who knew after a bunch of abysmal games, Jonathan Taylor Swift is putting together back-to-back -back great performances. Looks like the Chiefs offense may have unlocked their potential because they're finally moving the football. As we all know, trailing by 18 is nothing to them. Hey, keep it in your pants, Colts offense. This is public indecency and sexual harassment. You can't whip out your Moab. Alley Cox. I do what I want. Kansas City's cooking. Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes looking towards his left. He's got Tariq Hill inside the 10. Indianapolis in the period colored zone. Jonathan Taylor Swift punches his way into the end zone. Second TD of the day for him. And Indianapolis extends their lead to 19. And then they take out their Uno cards and give Baltimore two for your mess. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! I guess not. Pass intercepted by the Baltimore Ravens. No points for you. Kansas City bloods in the Sioux Whoop zone. Oh my God. Give me that. Pass ricocheted into the air and intercepted by Buffalo. <laughs> Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel the Dons and book me today. Through three quarters, Baltimore would put up a ton of numbers on the stat sheet, but they have no points to show for it. Can they make something happen? Third and ten for Buffalo. Trying to take advantage of the turnover and put this game away. Pass sales incomplete. Stephon Diggs wants a flag. He ain't going get it but why is Fenton flexing like you not losing by 18 first and 10 for Baltimore one minute left in the third quarter Lamar's gonna let it fly Hollywood Brown would put a touchdown on the board, but on the two-point conversion. This attempt couldn't get on a ride at six flags because it came up just too short. Mm, I stopped short. Second and four for Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes looking to go deep. Almighty push. Tredavious White tried to plant Travis Kelsey into the ground and make him a part of photosynthesis. Why do you push him like that? Pass interference on the defense. Automatic first down. Into the fourth quarter we go. Handoff to who is that? <laughs> Finally, Marlon Mack getting some love. The Kansas City Bloods in the Sioux Whoop zone. Quick toss over to Travis Kelsey into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. And it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes. Why? It's free real estate. I thought I told you guys to put that away. We don't care. We'll do whatever we want with our Mo Alley Cox for the first down. And that set up Rodrigo Blankenship from 43 yards out. Kicks it through the uprights, 25 to 9. 16 point lead, two score game, 12 minutes left. No way you guys gonna blow it, right? Ensuing drive. Here comes Baltimore. Lamar Jackson over the middles. Got Mark Andrews. He only needs one hand. This brother can't be guarded today. Look how he holds on to this football. Kansas City trying to build momentum. Third and 17. 
Josh Allen's gonna let it fly. He's got a man deep! Yoink. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by the Kansas City Chiefs for the game! <laughs> Roughing the passer on the defense. Buffalo still got life, pussy. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. This a bullshit call, man. If that's roughing the passer, I have a vagina. This is bullshit! Buffalo's gonna take advantage. Not only they're gonna take time off the clock, they're moving down the field. Very next play on the Mark Andrews experience. Lamar no Odom Jackson looking right. Today's a good day to take somebody's ankles as he take it inside Indianapolis territory. And Baltimore's moving without haste. They have such a high level sense of urgency as they're already inside the 20. No huddle offense matriculating the football down the field. Lamar Jackson perfect on this drive and they're inside the five. Lamar Jackson got so much time on first and goal he could get a second change become a woman get another one and go back to being a man and he'd still find mark andrews in the end zone for the touchdown you know what's crazy i actually had mark andrews on my bench in fantasy football i still won man scored 41 points and then he'd tell the colts too for their mistakes it's a one score game carson's played lights out today it's a shame if your team blew it pardon my interruption if you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this wow 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 Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Click the links in my description and go to chiseledadonnashop.com and get your merch today. Just do it! Third and four, Kansas City desperately needs a stop, but we know they ain't gonna get it. Oh my God, he put his ball sweat on the top of his helmet. Following the Baltimore touchdown, Carson Wentz understands he's got to put points on the board in order to quell this comeback. Looking right, he's got Jonathan Taylor. They keep the drive alive, move the chains, and they're inside Baltimore territory. Unfortunately for Kansas City, that roughing the passer call would come back to haunt them the entire drive because Buffalo continues to move the chains. Kansas City's defense couldn't even turn off a faucet if they were a plumber. They can't stop a single damn thing. Buffalo moving the football so easily you would have thought they stole the Chiefs' playbook. You can't be this garbage and want to go back to the Super Bowl. Third and one for Indy. Boy, is he lucky he landed on top of body so he could put forth a second effort because there was no way he was going to get that. And Buffalo Wild Wings would take their blazing sauce and throw it in the face of Kansas City because Emmanuel Sanders gets his second TD on the day and it's back to an 18-point lead. And not only that, the Chiefs went from getting the football at 11.40 left on the clock to 5.51. You got to score three TDs in under six minutes. 37 yards attempt for retreat I don't give a fuck says Calais Campbell as he'd blocked the field goal and Baltimore's gonna get the football back with under five left to play win a one score game nobody's blocked more field goals than Calais Campbell in the last 12 years and this man did it again he may sound like he chews bricks for breakfast but damn it that man's a great football player ensuing drive all of the momentum on Baltimore's side Back up against the wall for Kansas City. First and five. Tariq Hill puts them at the 15. This entire fourth quarter, Indianapolis's defense did not show up at all. They thought they had the game won when they led 25 to 9. Somebody let them know that football is 60 minutes. Under four minutes left to play. Baltimore inside Colts territory. <laughs> But a fingers, Mahomes fumbles on the play, the ball's all over the place. Dive, fat man. He does, but doesn't get it, because Tredavious White lands on the football. Kansas City turns it over again. Take the L out of lover. This game's over, brother. On the Bills' final drive, they'd keep running the football, moving the chains, making the Kansas City Chiefs waste their timeouts and give them an L on Sunday Night Football. Just when you made it back to 500, you back to the bottom of the division. Look how bad their defense is is y'all are absolute ass go back to the drawing board fire everybody the chiefs are going on the l tr what what the hell is this who put patrick mahomes face on jackson mahomes body <laughs> Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date in all my content. On top of that, follow me all over the social media platforms, all right? Whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Pornhub, does not matter. Because at the end of the day, let's all go to the Shadow Realm together. Back to Monday Night Football we go. Baltimore driving in Colts territory. Lamar Jackson refusing to go down. That brother must have took some Rex MD Viagra. He's going to carry it all the way inside the 35 two plays later Jackson takes the snap all kinds of time looking over the middles got his man inside the 20 
Bradbury next play. Jackson takes the snap all kinds of time once again over the middles. Got his man. The Ravens are inside the five. Baltimore got more momentum than Viscera Lizzo and the unchiseled Adonis racing downhill as Jackson finds Mark Andrews once again in the red zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. Then they take out their Uno cards and they give the Colts two for your mistakes. Tie game, 39 seconds left. Oh, my God, that brother don't drive automatic. He's got the clutch in the car. But much to their chagrin, they left too much time on the clock for Carson Wentz. Let's it fly down the field. has got his man open. He's putting the league on notice that although he may be injury prone, when that man is healthy, he can be elite. He has his football team at the 30 with an opportunity to kick the game-winning field goal. Blank and Chip's kick is... This motherfucker not serious. Game on the line. A second consecutive victory on the shoelaces of your cleats and you shank it wide to the left. But he was hurt. Doesn't matter. On a weekend where there was 738 missed field goals and extra points, you decided to have the final one of the night. You wear glasses for added vision, but unfortunately you need to put those big ass blindfolds on top of your motherfucking feet. Maybe it make you a little bit more accurate. You too can join the other kickers in putting your motherfucking head back down and consider your name written down the death note because your dreams of being a successful accurate kicker has been absolutely deleted. But I do have to take Justin Tucker out of the death note because I can rely on him to go and make kicks week in and week out. So consider yourself exempt, brother. And despite the fact that Justin Tucker was only on the field for kickoffs and an early field goal, he'd still find a way to be incapable of missing as Carson Wentz call would go unanswered. Baltimore would win the toss and the Ravens are going to get the football with all the momentum in the world. Here comes Lamar Jackson first in 10 in overtime. You already know this brother's incapable of taking a sack at this particular moment. Colts look like they unplugged their controller second and four they're already inside Colts territory two plays later Jackson takes the snap there's no coverage on the field Hollywood Brown takes a man's ankle stiff arms him to the ground they're at the 30 very next play Jackson takes the snap looking over the middles got his man again nothing but positive yardage for Baltimore somebody activate the Madden cards use the cheat codes the Indianapolis Colts need all the help they can get they're gonna blow a 19 point lead Lamar Jackson don't give a shit and his Baltimore Ravens are at the 12-yard line. Second and goal. Lamar Jackson would check his wallet. He'd take his receipt to the sperm bank and he'd get his comeback. Hit the music. Baltimore wins their fourth consecutive game in an absolute thriller, and I can't imagine how they fans have felt every single game this season. It has been an emotional roller coaster for y'all motherfuckers. Well, except Denver last week, but we ain't talking about that right now. One way or another, the Colts decided to go and get on their knees and blow it. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now... Yeah, I remember that. Frank Reich! Y'all led by 19 points, had all the momentum, and then in 16 minutes, y'all let the lead go to shit, and in overtime, your defense didn't even show up on the field. Put your motherfucking head back down and take your Indianapolis Colts to join the Kansas City Chiefs in taking out their Metro car. And uh, getting aboard the L-Train. You lose.